again and we'll start the class and I'll share my screen with you. Yesterday we left at, we were talking about segmentation and uh, segmentation, targeting and positioning. So let me just quickly tell you what we have done till now. A quick revision tells us that we have Oh, this I've messed up. Okay, a quick revision tells us that we what we started was understanding what is marketing. We understood it with the little examples. We went on and we understood then what is need, want, and demand. Um, and then we came to something called segmentation. So as I explained yesterday, segmentation is dividing the population in a number of uh, groups such that every group is homogeneous within itself, but heterogeneous among themselves. I have messed up this slide and let give me a moment. Um, I will just make it okay. Yeah, I have messed up. Okay, so when we discussed about segmentations, let me explain this to you. Uh, a hair color, this has come over it, but that's okay. A hair color is a hair color is a hair color. I mean, if you, whether you color it with L'Oreal or whether you color, color it with Godrej Experts, so if you're using the black color, your hair stays black. And believe me, the hair doesn't stay. Hello, hello, I'm from L'Oreal. Oh, hello, hello, I'm Godrej Expert. Maybe a common person cannot really find out. And yet, the person who uses L'Oreal would not be very comfortable using Godrej. And the person who uses Godrej, I'm not sure whether he or she would like to use L'Oreal for whatever reasons. These are two different segments. A hair color is a hair color is a hair color, but a L'Oreal is a L'Oreal, and a Godrej is a Godrej. And most probably, to help you understand this better, maybe let me show you some videos. I'll share them from YouTube. I'm not really sure how it would come up on the screen. If it doesn't really look good, maybe you can tell me and like yesterday, I can again post it on the Google Classroom. But let me share and let me help you understand those two different segments. So let's first see the Godrej one. Okay, so that was ad number one, and let me go to now the ad number two. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've got the confidence to color my hair because I choose the color that gives me triple care. It's the world's number one new excellence cream from L'Oreal Paris. My hair is strong and feels damage free, and gray is hot gone. New Excellence Creme from L'Oreal Paris. Because you're worth it. So, could you see the difference? I mean, one minute. Yeah. Could you see the difference? Anyone who would like to contribute? I mean, was the the, the, the segment for Godrej equal to the segment of L'Oreal? No, ma'am. No, I think the segment for L'Oreal is the more high class society. That's why they are, their ad shows the same. And for Godrej, it's more of like, uh, I think, middle uh, middle uh, segment. That's why their ad showcases. Harshit, I'm not sure whether we can really classify it with age. And, you know, because I, I like the way uh, Shreya sort of classified it. And Shreya, I would really like it if one day I can see you. Otherwise, you will remain a circle in my mind. Um, so, ah, great, hi. <laughs> uh, look, as a marketing person, you should be able to see that consumer in front of you. So when I saw the Godrej ad, 
uh, Harshit, it was for common people, as she said. It is for middle class people. It is for people who want to color their hair because it has turned white or whatever or brown. They want to color their hair. Um, and at the same time, they're bothered about economy, so they can't really spend too much. And did you see how those people were? Did you notice that lady who is like, you know, a little embarrassed and um, just, just not very comfortable doing it? Just the common person. On the other hand, L'Oreal, it was that fashionable person, that upper class person, that higher socioeconomic class. And that's why they say worth it, right? As I said, a hair color is a hair color is a hair color. But at the end of it, a Godrej is different and L'Oreal is different. And you can see the distinctive difference between those two segments. And that is why we need segmentation. We need segmentation because though we have the same needs, however, we may cre create different demands, right? So we may all have the same needs. We may all want shoes. However, one person is comfortable buying the shoes for 250 rupees and another person is not comfortable even buying a shoe of 5,000 rupees. A shoe is a shoe is a shoe. And yet, different brands have their own presence. Another example, a car is a car is a car. Every car has that same um, steering wheel, brakes, so on and so forth. If so, if I take a, a Maruti, if I take an Alto and I go from Pune to Bombay, compared to I take a high-end luxury car and I go from Pune to Bombay, Pune remains the same. Bombay remains the same. There was no one to greet me at Bombay when I went in Alto. There was no one to greet me in Bombay when I went in the high-end luxury car also. The highway also remained the same. Nothing changed about the highway. And yet, a person who buys Alto belongs to a different segment. And the person who buys that luxury car belongs to a different segment. Maybe that person who belongs to Alto aspires to buy that luxury car. And maybe that person who buys the luxury car aspires to still buy a higher end luxury car. And ask him, would he go in an Alto from Pune to Bombay? He would be like, but can you go in an Alto? Right? So it's a different segment. And segmentation is great for us marketing people. Why? Because that's where we understand and we learn to respect all people as they are. I'm as grateful to that person who drives a high-end car as I am to that person who does not drive the high-end car. I'm as grateful to that person who uses Godrej as I am to the person who uses L'Oreal. But as a marketing person, I must understand which segment I want to target. You cannot be Godrej and L'Oreal at the same time. It's bad. I mean, theoretically, I would love to have a product which I can supply to everyone. Wow, fantastic. Practically, it's not possible. And therefore, after segmentation comes targeting. So you have divided the population into different segments. And that's where that article becomes extremely important, which I shared with you on Google Classroom, which maybe we will discuss tomorrow once you are clear with segmentation, targeting, and positioning. So once I have divided the population into different segments, my next question is, which one should we as a company target? And there? Obviously, it has to do a lot with the company dynamics also. In fact, it has to do a lot with the company dynamics. But a very, very fundamental thing which every company should see before targeting is that is this segment measurable and substantial? I would love to supply my product to those few people who live in a certain part of the country. Is it really worth it? Is it possible? Can that be the only segment? 
it has to be measurable and substantial for the simple reason that i need uh, uh, economically i have to look at the whole thing accessible how easy is it to reach out to that particular segment if they are not accessible then how how do you target them are uh, is the segment differentiable now when i say differentiable i mean can you see that yes is distinct so when we divide the people who use the hair color and let me assume there are only two segments which is not true but this is only for the sake of simplicity i can see a distinctive difference between the ones who are using godrej versus the ones who are using l'oreal i can see a dis Im imagining that even the car segment has only two segments again a very hypothetical thing i mean just not possible but for the sake of simplicity i can see the segment which is using using the luxury uh, luxury car it's very different as compared to the segment which is most probably using the not so expensive car so the difference should be really really differentiable and finally add everything or multiply etc now you are ready to take action and therefore the first thing the first thing you do is segmentation and the second thing that you do is understand which one to target am i making sense at this point of time maybe let me come back to you and ask you are you understanding what i'm talking about and would anyone like to contribute with an example before i continue yes ma'am uh, yes, so ma'am like there are some cars which don't even advertise like limousine and audi because they are like the exact like top most segment of the in car section so it's i think that is ha huh, continue beta sorry yeah so um i think that is because the people who actually buy it doesn't watch television like i've heard this phrase that you know the people who actually can afford these cars don't waste their time watching television so they don't really provide an ad to them but uh, yeah they don't really ad okay what harshit said is absolutely correct harshit i would really like if is your mic not working no it is working so then speak now and show me your face also you put such um, a nice i don't uh, have my camera right now Okay, that's okay. Harshit is absolutely right, Shreya. They do advertise. This is not true that they don't advertise. They do advertise. But again, please understand where should I? I mean, we will come to this when we talk about promotion. Where should they advertise? Where do they advertise? Should they advertise to me? They are wasting their money and resources. Why should they advertise to me? Just so that I can look at that car and say, "Wow, I'm not creating a demand." they will advertise to me only if i am creating a demand and therefore they do advertise on the right channels if i am creating demand and there are certain certain channels which are there you no know, somebody said not on tv now what do you mean by tv even the tv its definition has changed tanish they do advertise but as i said on the right program so maybe i don't know how i mean today there the number of channels is huge and if i am a person who is interested in car those who are really really interested in cars etc there are some programs which are hardcore about cars and you know there are discussions about cars over there and what is happening what is not happening they make sure that they are present there because they are the they, they want they want you to they want everyone to understand that hey listen we are the best and therefore please we are here so and tv is such a broad term today what do you mean by tv if you just mean those two or three channels again the right program let's not say tv they are there on the right programs even on internet they are there on the right websites why would be they why would they be there on a kids website why i mean just so that the little kid can say papa papa car i mean you know please understand anything and everything that we do requires time and effort and time and effort is equal to money in fact i will show you all these advertisements most probably tomorrow or i'll share them with you on google classroom or harshit help me hey harshit yes ma'am 
I like your ideas. I've just known you for two days, but uh, I like the way you present your ideas. Would you help me find some ads on Audi? Ma'am, I've seen some ads. I'll, I can find if you want. Yeah, please. I mean, not now. Yes, Later during the day, and let's just post it on Google Classroom, okay? Okay, ma'am. Right? Okay. I'll post anyone? It and, I didn't post it. Yeah. Anyone else? Okay, so let's proceed. So we understood segmentation, then we went forward to targeting. And please understand, I'm dealing with these topics at a very, very basic level. Because for those of you who will take up marketing as a specialization in your third semester, you would be doing it in far more detail. But you need to understand the basics. You need to understand is segmentation only on the basis of price brackets? No, beta. Yesterday we spoke about it, so I have messed up. Segmentation can be on a number of bases. Let me repeat it. I mean, I just spoke about two, three things. One was geographical segmentation. So you may do segmentation on the basis of uh, uh, the area where you are staying. So we discussed about fans yesterday. You may do the segmentation on the basis of gender. So for example, cosmetics for female or toys for children. You may do segmentation on the basis of their buying behavior. You may do segmentation on the basis of sociocultural, which is so, so important. And again, you may combine. I mean, this doesn't say that just because you're doing geographical segmentation, you cannot add uh, sociocultural into it. No, please go ahead. Have your own permutations and combinations. The important thing is to understand that when you do segmentation, you should be very clear on what basis you are doing it. So that the groups that you create, they all have that homogeneity among themselves. So if you are doing based on the basis of price, be very clear. Then you are demarcating them on the basis of price. Okay. Now, when we looked at Godrej and L'Oreal, can you, is it just the price? No, it's far more than that. It's also their attitude towards life. I mean, the way they, the, the, the way they, their expectations out of life and so on. Right. I mean, we, again, look at burgers. We all like, I mean, whoever likes burgers, let's assume we all like burgers, but all of us may not be going to McDonald's. Some of all uh, the other one, whatever its name is, some of us may be very happy with that uh, local burger person who's just right outside my house. And so segmentation, it's just that you should be aware and very clear that on what basis you are doing it and you should be able to see your customer right in front of your eyes. That's the clarity you should have. That's the vision or the transparency you should have that you should know exactly what kind of a customer you are targeting. Tanish, do I make sense? No, sorry, this was, wasn't Tanish, it was Kunj Bihari. Kunj Bihari, do I make sense? Okay, I go forward. Mm, thank you. Um, and let's now understand the third part. Once we have done segmentation and targeting, we come to the next part, which is positioning. So what is positioning? So let me explain it in very, very simple language. Positioning is who you are. Who you are means the company. What do you stand for? Positioning is your identity, right? So when a person remembers State Bank of India, there is a certain image we get. Positioning is that image that we create in the mind of the consumer. When I think about uh, Taj hotels, there's a certain image that I have. When I think about ginger hotels, there's a certain image that I have. When I think about Symbiosis Center for Management Studies, there's a certain image that I have. Who are you? What do you stand for? Because the customer remembers you with your image. And therefore, positioning is, I, I haven't written, positioning is the image that we create in the mind of the consumer. So taking from what we did yesterday, Kellogg's created an image 
of a product that helps the child to become more intelligent right what is the image that you are creating maybe let me show you two more ads or one more ad from um, youtube to help you understand the difference in image so the first one is about give me a minute the first one is about state bank of india the largest bank in our country Look at this sentence SBI, Sirf Banking or Kuch Nahi. Remember that before I come to the next tag. Okay, my next ad. Ma'am, you have to renew every week. Thank you. Son, you didn't get up here. Don't worry. It's okay. Now, don't worry. I understand, ma'am. My son is a 4-year-old. He's also a good one. Small, small things. They don't always get a small bank. I see, I see. What are you thinking? And look at how they ended. They said, I see, I see, I bank. What are you thinking? So, when I'm talking about... Give me a minute. Yeah. So they said, Khayal Aapka. Can you see the difference between the positioning of State Bank of India and the positioning of ICICI Bank? A bank is a bank is a bank. A bank runs on the RBI rules in our country. Every bank, in every bank, you can deposit, you can withdraw, you can make FDs, you can take loans, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And yet SBI is SBI and ICICI is ICICI. And they have created very different positionings for themselves. SPI is very clear that, hey, listen, I am the bank which is available in every corner of our country. You can be sure that wherever you go in India or even now abroad, you know that SBI is so well connected and you will definitely find a branch of SBI. And also they are very clear that this is our unique positioning, that we are there everywhere. And therefore, what we offer is only banking, sirf banking or kuch nahi. So you come, so if you come to SBI, don't expect us to go all gaga over you. I mean, we may go, but don't expect that. On the other hand, ICICI, did you see, it added that emotional touch. It said, you know, we, if you come, we will take care of you. Because we understand that it's just not banking that you want, but you want us, you want us to offer those other services also, which are so intangible. A bank is a bank is a bank. And yet, SBI is SBI and ICICI is ICICI with two very different segments. Let me explain with another example. So I don't know how many of you have been to Goa. I'm sure you've heard about Goa. How many of you have been to Goa? Have you heard about Goa? Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Ma yes? yes ma okay, so when you think about, maybe let me come back to you. When you think about Goa, uh, when you think about Goa, what comes to your mind? Beach. Beach? Fantastic. Anyone else? Masaji. Street food. Street food. What else? Parties. Parties. Yes, we are talking seafood. about pre-COVID times, okay? Yeah. Seafood. Seafood. What else? Football. 
फुटबॉल स्पोर्ट्स वास्कोटी गामा ओके well so yes when you think about goa you think of beaches you think of nobody thinks of liquor that's very nice you're very good children uh so you guess you know yes you think of beaches you think of parties you think of football you think of by the way goa also has uh, temples and churches okay um let me show you another photograph and before i come back to you I don't like shifting my screen all the time. Yeah, so let me show you another photograph. So this is Goa. This is the beach of Goa, and so on. This is also the beach, and this place is called Ganpati Kule. For those of you who are from Maharashtra, maybe you know it, and maybe others also know it. Ganpati Kule is extremely popular tourist destination. Both Ganpati Pule and Goa are on the same western side of my country. Both face the Arabian Sea. It's the same water. It's the same uh, humidity. It's the same air. Everything is the same. And yet, Goa is Goa, and Ganpati Pule is Ganpati Pule. Because Gan while when you go to Goa, you think about beaches and parties and casino and liquor and. football and blah blah and so on and so forth ganpati pule is known for the temple of god lord ganpati and when you think of going to ganpati pule that's the reason why you are going so if you want to go to goa most probably you go with your friends on the other side when you are going to ganpati pule you most probably go with your family a beach is a beach is a beach it's the same arabian sea it's the same western coast of my country it's the same air it's the same humidity it's the same seafood the same fishes and other things are there the same also and yet the positioning of goa is so different from the positioning of ganpati pule because when you go to goa you don't think about temples but when you go to ganpati pule and you go and visit ganpati mandir aapko pap lagega okay so as i said a product is a product however what is important is how you position it a bank is a bank but every bank has its own positioning and maybe at this point of time let me take a break and ask you people that are you understanding what i am speaking about is it clear yes ma'am yes yes ma'am have we yes, understood what is segmentation targeting and positioning right so if anyone has any doubts ask me before i proceed further great so maybe today what we'll do is we won't discuss any other topic we will end the class here